In this video, I'm going to show you one of the best ways that you can get pressure out of the Nickel 245 in Madden 22. This blitzing concept, by and large, is going to carry over into Madden 23. Uh, at least it worked for me in the beta. And I think this is a great place to start, just in terms of some basic ideas for how you want to blitz in Madden 23. Now, what we're going to do with this is we're going to actually use our linebackers to create pressure. Now, I'm in the Baltimore Ravens defensive playbook. You can find this formation in a lot of different playbooks. Uh, I want to also quickly point out that I actually think blitzes do work better if you don't have a ability on your defensive lineman. Um, so you see here, I'm, I'm actually shoving, uh, subbing out Sha Shaquille Barrett uh, because he has edge threat, I believe. So... This blitz is actually really simple. You can do this out of pretty much any play. Um, I like to use Overstorm Raven. I'm going to show you a little trick with this as well uh, in this tip. And we're also going to have an audible that we want to audible to. So in this example, we've got Cover 2 Sync to be able to audible to um, to show you this. But you can do this out of anything in the formation. I'm just going to show you kind of an advanced tip from Overstorm Brave. But the first thing I want to do is come out in just a basic play and show you how this works. Um, so we'll just do this out of Cover 3 Cloud. And like I said in the beginning, if you want to get better at Madden, make sure you join uh, or subscribe to the channel. It's free. We're doing a lot of videos, getting ready for Madden 23. Also, if you want to get access to all of my eBooks um, for Madden 23 as soon as they come out, make sure you join our Patreon. That's where you get access to everything. That also gets you access to all my Madden 22 and Madden 21 eBooks, which there's a lot of stuff in those that we continue to build on in Madden year over year. So if you want to get access to all that material, the link is down below. You get everything for 10 bucks. Joining is only 10 bucks. Get you access to everything over there as well. But let's take a look at this blitz. So real simple, we're just going to pinch our defense, crash our line down, globally blitz our linebackers. And then I like to recommend to user the linebacker on the running back side. And if you want to contain, you certainly can. And what you will see is this linebacker will loop through the A-gap just like that. And we'll be able to get some pressure. Now, let's say we want to send this off of the other side. Um, same exact setup, except this time we're going to use her this guy. And now what you'll see here is the blitz will come off of that side. Now, you notice that he got picked up there. I find that this blitz can sometimes get picked up if you don't contain. So you see here, I'm going to contain. And then I'm going to hold left trigger with my user, just kind of turn my hips around. And as you see, look how good that pressure is coming in at the quarterback. So that's a five-man pressure out of nickel 245, but I wanted to make it a little bit better. So if you notice, um, when I pinch my linebackers, they're a little bit off of the ball. One of the things that you can do that is really, really, really good um, from these 335 will, 245 type of sets is just come out in a play like Overstorm Brave where both linebackers are blitzing. And then what you're going to do is you're going to audible to uh, the cover two sink. And you notice that Edwards kind of shifted down um, at the line of scrimmage. So instead of pinching our linebackers, we're not we're we're not going to adjust them. We're just going to pinch our defensive line, and then from there just blitz our linebackers. We don't even have to crash them any certain way, and you'll see that we're going to get this really fast edge rush from the defensive end. So let me show you that one more time. So again, you're going to watch and you're going to notice that the linebacker on the wide side of the field is going to come down. Then we're going to audible to cover to sink, and then all we're going to do is we're going to press. We're going to pinch our D-line, and we're going to blitz our linebacker. So you see here, this is what the defense looks like. My recommendation, if you're going to really seriously send this pressure, go ahead and shade your coverage underneath and then recloud that bunch side corner. It's going to give you a little bit better coverage on the short side. It's going to give you a really good vertical hook on the right side. And what you're going to see here is this pressure will absolutely scream every single time at the quarterback. So this is a great way to use something like Overstorm Brave. You'll see real quickly here, if I pinch my linebackers, they're still going to go where they were. And like I said, you can blitz out of this, and this is, a, I mean, you can do this, but I just find that the other version is a little bit better pressure. You do see it still, it still does come free, but anyways, let me show you the setup one more time. Um, if you don't want to audible, there is something that you can do. In these two, four, five type sets, you can actually run these guys down just like so. So I'm going to run Edwards down. I'm going to blitz him. Now, sometimes his blitz angle will get kind of messed, messed up. That's why I like to crash down. And then what you're going to see, crash my D line down. And then you're going to see here that we're going to get kind of loop and edge pressure off of this. So you can do this out of pretty much any four down lineman set in the game. Uh, I just think 
Overstorm Brave is really good because when you audible, you see that he moved there when I move the line in, but when I audible, they don't move. And then this allows me to, you know, kind of just set my pressure up a little bit more simply. And we're just going to get cleaner pressure without having to manually move people. I want to thank you for watching this video. This is just a basic five man pressure concept in Madden 22. And it really is very effective in Madden 23 as well. Again, thanks for watching the video. And if you want to learn all of my Madden offensive and defensive schemes, make sure you join our Patreon. It's only $10 to sign up, get you access to everything that we have uh, available over there, over 30 ebooks that you'll get access to right now. And of course, you'll get access to our Madden 23 ebooks um, as soon as they launch because, again, it's a monthly deal. Um, so you'll get access for the whole month of August, be able to get all of our Madden 20 stuff, our Madden 21 stuff, Madden 22 stuff, and of course, all of our Madden 23 stuff that we release at the first of the year. Thanks for watching. And if you want to join the Patreon, head down to the description and click the link down below.